What's up my guys and gals? Today I'm going to be reacting to the video Crushes by the YouTuber Domix. This is basically a romantic themed video here, so... Anyways, without further ado, let's get right to the reaction show, by shall we? My dudes and dudettes? <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I think as a kid, so I was so brainwashed into thinking that Sorry, I needed guys, to be romantically right attracted now. to someone. My classmates would be like, Hey Dom, who do you like? Uh, why? <sighs> I'll tell you who I like if you tell me who you like. And I'm thinking, I don't necessarily like anyone in particular, but for this transaction to go through, I yeah. guess I needed to name someone. And as a kid, most of us haven't really had much time to know a lot of people, so my choices were limited to uh, pretty much whoever was in my like, school, uh, more specifically uh, in my classrooms. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, Sarah? Uh, Ooh, <laughs> I'm like, telling! Uh, Wait, what? Who, who do you like? Oh, I got baited. So as a kid, like, I thought oh, it was mandatory to just have baited. someone in mind to admire. And obviously when you're so, young, you don't exactly know yet what your personal criteria shoes. is of why you like someone. Growing up, you develop these things based on experiences, and over time you tend to narrow your tastes yeah. down to certain traits that the person must have in order for you to be interested. Do they have a sense of humor? Do they like animals? Do they play video games? Are they as weeaboo as you? Do they have a self-esteem issue that forces them to undermine others in order to validate themselves and their self-worth? It's Bro, up to you to my God, that's so relatable. So that if you were to pursue someone with those traits, then Bro. it's safe to assume that Bro, you're probably that's so relatable, man. But when we were kids, let's be honest, we Sheesh were shallow kebabers, assholes. Man, that's so what relatable. do you like, Victoria? I don't know, she's yeah. pretty and nice. What do you like, Jerry? Nice. I don't know, he's funny and nice. Why do you like Steve? I don't. Yeah, same. When I was a kid, don't. I tended to like the popular girls, not like the bratty, cliche, everyone is trash beneath my feet, mean girls, but the girls that most guys also had a crush on. Melody was the intelligent beauty. I didn't really have a reason to talk to her, so I pretty much admired her from afar. Yeah, that kind of crush. Oh my I god, dude. Read from the textbook out loud to the class. Would you have and that kind of melody's turn? I gave her like 200% of my like attention. That kind of time. As oh, she was man. reading, I was following along and came across it's a like, word that I've never seen. She gets 200% attention for like the word, for like Fahrenheit. She read it with no reason. hesitance, and I was so surprised and impressed that it further emphasized like, my attraction to intelligence. Boy, uh, how could you not know the word Fahrenheit? Okay, first of all, I was like nine, and yeah. second of all, the rest of the world uses Celsius. All right, get out of here. Actually, <laughs> after realizing that I had zero chance with Melody, I eventually developed a crush on another girl that it's good, I good. also had no zero girls, chance man. with. Rachel. Rachel was the sporty girl in my class. She was the fastest sporty. girl in all the running activities in PE, and was actually faster than most of the guys. During recess, she usually played sports and other games with Speedier guys. Speedier than most of the dudes. Girls weren't into That's the crazy. Played. I guess dudes are like running with her a lot. We were all kind of in the same group of friends who played during recess. Later on, we all find out she had a crush on oh. Liam, who was also one of my friends. And you'd think I'd be upset or jealous of Sheesh. Liam, but looking back, <laughs> Liam was a pretty good-looking guy and also not a douchebag. So, yeah, it, oh, it's he's a good choice. Like a, not, looks not like a good shot cool. there. I got over it pretty quick. And then, yeah, I'm stuff. buff. Ooh. She was a bit different from the girls I've liked. She wasn't part of the popular group. She wasn't the most intelligent. She wasn't outstandingly athletic. She was more or less kind of average. But I had a crush on her. I was surprised at the fact that not many other guys liked her, considering I was so oh? used to being in competition with pretty much the whole class population. But with Stephanie, it seemed like I was the only guy running. It eventually became public news that I liked Stephanie because of the numerous school dances that occurred, and every public time knows. I asked her and only her to dance. I felt like that's pretty uh, much what dances essentially were in elementary he's school. He's got a crush on her. Opportunities. Oh. They, were dancing, <laughs> they were instantly shipped together. Sure. Albert like and Kaylin are dancing. Like a Ooh. digital ship. Ryan and Zoe are dancing. Ooh. Steve is still alone. Still. Ooh. With nobody. Hey man, I, I feel like you're using the video to project your inner hate on a personal matter. Bruh. Why are you hating on Steve so much? What? What the heck? Really? Concert, man, yeah. f you, Steve. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Stephanie knew I liked her. I don't remember Damn, properly bro. confessing it because I was a little he, bitch at the time. Dude, I swear really at the time. Ha! I. Yeah. yeah I set myself at the up time. Up. But despite knowing, nothing <laughs> really progressed like between us, and for good reason to be too, as we didn't really like, have that much in common or have familiar things to talk about. 
At the beginning of grade 6, I had to move to a new school and left behind yeah. a lot of close friends. Near the end of the school year, I decided to visit my old school again and see yeah, my good, yeah, yeah. By that time, I went through puberty, and although I didn't get a major growth spurt, I did develop this sexy voice that you hear today. Major growth <laughs> spurt. Although school like was grew still happening, it was the end of the year, so yeah. not many activities were happening in class. It's like, I spent oh, watch it, you sonny. I got my eye on you, boy. I got my eye on you, Jake. Because she was in a different homeroom. <laughs> my friends were egging me on to talk to her and make some moves, and I was make actually more confident to do What so. kind of moves are you we doing, there, Mister? School helped me build some interpersonal skills, so I was like, "Yeah, I'll talk to Stephanie." Let's it's go. like, "Yeah, I'll talk to her." I don't know what happened. Maybe this doesn't in do it. Months, or if it was just the heat it of the moment. It just didn't happen. But she kind of flirted back with me. Who? Yo. I can't remember exactly what we talked Yo. about. Yo. It ended with a kiss on the cheek, a Yo. On the hand, and a crowd of classmates as if we just got engaged. Oh shit! And I He's repeat, like, I don't know oh, exactly her or why things went so smoothly that day. But when I got home that night, I decided to call her. <sighs> like TLDR, so she blew me off. Even though we went to different schools, which I don't know. I have, just sorry guys, I had no idea what TLDR is short for, but I guess it's like it he got really disappointed she wanted to afterwards. So by how the conversation went. So why to his frown there number? afterwards? I like, that maybe assume that's a sad thing. Play along or something. I don't know. I was pretty confused, but not exactly disappointed. I was always crushing on girls out of my league, so rejection <laughs> wasn't really anything new to me. The real problem, though, was when girls didn't reject me, and I got into relationships that neither I nor they were probably ready for. And thus, a shitstorm oh. saga of breakups began. Woo! You suck, Steve. Dude. Man, girls sure are hard to understand, huh, Mob? My opinion, get over Subomi. She, she seems kind of basic. Oh, you guys don't know my homie Mob? Well, if you want to get he to calls him, him his homie. So by watching Mob Psycho 100 on Crunchyroll. Don't have premium membership yet? Well, if you go to crunchyroll.com slash domics or by clicking on the link in the description, you can try it out for free for 30 <laughs> it's days. It's like one of those guys that don't speak. I just for anime, but you can also find manga and dramas there yeah. as well. Airing Calls of us like soon homie. As an hour after Japan, so yeah, having professionally served episodes, ad free and in 1080p, and available on most devices, oh, it's I, my go to place for yeah. anime. Especially now that they're oh, so that a, oh, this is a Ooh, sponsor. Can't wait to see what they'll make available. But hold up, if you guys want to wait till next month, you can I just want to no, I want to make sure Psycho, this is me and Jack's films. If you remember, we did this before with ReZero and had a lot of fun doing so. If you head over to watchalong.club, it'll show you how you can join us on October the 6th at 7 p.m. PST. Hope you guys can come hang out. See ya! Well, that's the uh, end of the video right there. So thank you guys so much for watching this basically epic video. Make sure to sincerely for your cause every like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell, boy. And, uh, and share this video with others. Because it'll also it'll be a nice favor to me, and yeah, that's I'm not forcing you to do it because you don't actually have to do it. But if you do so anyway, I'll gladly appreciate you. I'll consently appreciate you for doing that. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys out in the next video of mine, which could be coming out soon or maybe a little later. I don't know. I mean, if I did know, it would probably be sometime around then. But anyways, peace out, my dudes. And do that. All around me are familiar faces. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Woo!